Well, any time now, the Department of Labor could announce new rules to crack down on retirement advisors, forcing brokers to put clients' interests ahead of personal gain. Larry Wingett says it sounds good on paper, but this is all going to lead to unintended consequences like higher prices for investors. Now, Larry, the rule comes down hardest on those who are actually making, who have the least amount of money to invest, folks who are trying to invest twenty-five dollars to $50,000, right? That's absolutely right. And you know, it does sound so good to say that we want to put clients' needs first. And that, that, those are just pretty words because if there's anything I've learned from every administration, but especially this administration, is that government reg regulation that it sets out to protect us usually makes things more complicated and just costs us more money. And that's what people are facing with this regulation. Now, can you, you tell know, us, can you tell us as simply as possible exactly how they want to regulate this market? You know, it looks like costs will probably go up because it's going to force people into plans that are more complicated and require a more sophisticated financial planner to be involved. Also, you're probably going to restrict access to some of the plans to some people, the people who have the very least to invest. And it's probably going to cut down on some of those uh, help centers out there that are available through call centers and so forth. So when you have a plan, you've got the average guy sitting at home, and he turns on the television to watch this show or any show, or even some of the new commercials that are already out that says, wait, the government wants to regulate my money, and it's going to cost me more, be more complicated cut down my options and, rest and restrict my access to help, yeah. boy, that's something I want to be involved now, in. Now, Labor Secretary Tom Perez says, hey, this is okay because folks will still have access to robo-advice. That's, that's how he sort of uh, justified this regulation. Yeah, robo-advice. Does that get you excited? I can't imagine that getting anybody excited. I, I was amazed to hear him is. say that. However, I, just, I'm not defending him in any way, but there are some really smart people out there, like Jack Bogle, for example, one of the smartest guys in the investment business, who says, look, forget about advisors. Just focus on, in we have these new things called ETFs, exchange-traded funds. You can put your money in ETF. You don't have to pay anybody. You pay, I don't know, .008 as, as a fee for it. What about Bogle's advice? Just get an index fund, an ETF. Well, I would say people need to be in anything rather than relying on themselves. I mean anything, because we have proof that relying on yourself, which I'm afraid is that's another unintended consequence here, is that people are going to say, this is too complicated, I'm not playing, so they're going to rely on themselves. And when you have the average American uh, retirement account on people who are near retirement, running at about $12,000, with one-third of Americans who have less than $1,000 in savings or retirement, mm -hmm. uh, that should be an indication we need people more involved in the process instead of less involved right. and by making it cost more and harder to understand fewer people are going to be involved at all well here's another indicator and and I'm not the first to say this when you hear somebody from the government say I'm from the government and I'm here to help <laughs> folks reach for your wallet because it's gonna cost you one way or another Larry Wingett uh, grow a pair author <laughs> I love it. thank you very much Larry appreciate you coming here well if hey, home so builder conference